You know, in this age of COVID-19, those of us who like to travel just have one thing on our mind these days, and that is, when are we going to get to travel abroad again? Hi, I'm Arnie, and this is Arnie Jacobson TV, where we talk travel, we talk cameras, we talk accessories. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click the big red subscribe button down below, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and make sure to check the uh, show notes down in the description for even more details. Yeah, so open-ended question because nobody really knows for sure, but there are some glimmers of hope emerging. However, in most things, you know, there are some good and some bad. So let's take a look at what's going on. First, in the area of airline travel. Um, recently, a number of airlines have announced that they are going to extend their flight change flexibility policies. All I can say is that they better. After all the billions that we that have been shoveled their way, but no. <laughs> United, Delta, American, and JetBlue have said that uh, any new bookings made up until the end of June can be changed to a later date with no fee. This isn't nearly enough in my opinion, but it's better than nothing. And there have been extensions made several times already, so maybe it'll happen again. Um, as far as European airlines are concerned, I don't have anything to report on that front. You should continue to check your uh, individual airline websites for you know things as as they unfold. Sooner or later, things will get better. Um, travel on the domestic front. This is kind of related more to um, for people who like to go out and visit national parks and that kind of thing. Um, if you like that, uh, things are opening up, albeit very slowly, especially in California where they're very, very strict. Um, places like Lassen Volcanic National Park, they opened up on May 29th, uh, while others like Sequoia and Kings Canyon uh, opened on June 4th. And on June 5th, uh, the popular California park of Yosemite cracked open its gate. Barely. <laughs> Uh, it reopened access only to those with existing wilderness permit reservations and existing permits to climb Half Dome. For now, campgrounds, hotels, and other businesses inside the park will remain closed. So again, it's a step uh, along that path. Looking Further afield to Europe, that place that we're most interested in, um, Europe could have its free travel zone up and running again by the end of this month. That's pretty amazing. The internal borders are going to reopen in time for summer holidays, meaning that Europeans will be able to travel freely for their summer vacations. But what does that mean if you're not European? Well, for travelers from outside, it's a different story. Uh, the EU's interior ministers want to extend the current entry ban on outside travelers by 14 days until July 1st. And in the overall scheme of things, 14 days doesn't seem like that big a deal. However, that is for everyone except travelers from the United States, Brazil, and Russia. 
Why those exceptions? Well, <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious to most of us. Those three nations account for 44% of the world's confirmed infections and nearly 38% of the world's confirmed coronaviruses. And that's according to Johns Hopkins. That's not just some number that I picked up, you know, from some weird site. Here in the U.S., as a result of the horrifically inept response to the virus, we have the worst statistics in the world. The, the population of the U.S. is only 4.25% of the world's total population. Relatively small. Total coronavirus cases worldwide, 7 plus million. Cases here in the U.S., 2 plus million. That's approximately 28% of all cases here. Deaths worldwide, 404,000. Deaths in the U.S., 112 of those are here. That's more than a quarter of all the deaths here in the U.S., and we only have 4% of the world's population. not trying to turn this into a coronavirus lecture, but it just blows my mind. Until the U.S. gets a handle on the coronavirus, we're going to remain shut out. And that doesn't, and it's not looking good. And that's a, and it's a serious bummer. For more travel news, make sure you check right over here. And don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, comment, share, we do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.